Australia's online Daily Telegraph reported today that locals in Manus have threatened to disrupt the detention centre that's accommodating some 400 asylum seekers under the regional resettlement arrangement between PNG and Australia. The Daily Telegraph claimed it witnessed a fiery blockade near the detention centre as a local elder vowed to die before allowing construction workers access to gravel for the makeshift centre last weekend. Australian taxpayers are already pouring in around 500,000 Australian dollars per asylum seeker. That's over 1 million kina into Manus under Kevin Rudd's PNG solution. The report also said local workers have staged strikes to lift their pay from about 3 kina an hour. This is while asylum seekers receive free mobile phones and the facilities include an internet cafe, a gym and a pool hall. The report said workers revealed that G4S PNG security workers get about $180 a week, while Australian guards pocket $2,000. The security workers reportedly staged a strike as a result. Tensions continue to rise as the Rudd government tries to expand the current facilities. The article said Australian government officials are planning to meet the concerned clan tomorrow as a land deal is needed before any building work begins. Delhi Bagu, National MTV News.